every single practice, you practice like someone's trying to steal your money or someone's trying to run your mother over from 40 yards away. Guys, I'm not saying that because I don't care about your families, but literally that's how twisted my brain is. When I fought or when I hit somebody, I have no problem thinking that they punched my mother in her face. And I literally wanted to rip their neck off. I hit a light switch like nobody you've ever imagined. I am absolutely bona fide nuts, and I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely fucking crazy. And I'm good with that. Because between the lines, I'm not supposed to be a nice person. The worst thing anyone's ever told me about my playing career was my father, my junior year in high school. At the end of the season, he walked up to me and he said, you know what, son? You played this year like a gentleman. Guys, I was a class vice president, student body representative, FCA director. I was a good kid off the football field, but I did not want to be known as that within those lines. And I had no problem letting everybody know it. Half my team didn't like me because in practice, I was going to rip their head off if they did anything stupid. And the worst thing anyone's ever told me was that I played this year like a gentleman. That's not okay. And literally, ever since that day, I made sure if I stepped on the field, whether it be practice or in a game, I made sure the coaches pulled me out. I made sure the coaches say, ooh, we might not want to let him hit the rest of the team. Because that was my strength. Like, I could bang, and I knew it. I might not be able to run you down or cover you, but if you came across the middle, I was going to rip your freaking head off. And I made sure everybody knew it. And I was never going to be told I was a gentleman on the football field in my entire life. It's an offensive statement. And I approached training like that. I approached looking at the playbook that way. I approached my grades that way after that year. I approached everything differently the minute that someone said that to me. You guys have a chance to make a half a million dollars at minimum a year. And all you have to do is approach every single day like someone is literally trying to take the most important thing away from you in your life away. Because here's what I do know, that thing that's on the back of that card that's the most important thing to you individually is going to be with you every step of the way. And it's pretty neat that you have probably the most important thing to you in your life on your side. Would you not agree? Whatever's on the back of your card, do they not give you 100% of support? Do they not just think that you are the greatest thing since sliced bread? And whenever you need something, they're there and they have your back. This is your opportunity to change not only the course of your life, but the course of your kid's life, your family's life, and probably your kid's kids by making it in the league. And if it all comes down to those numbers on a stupid piece of paper, I'm cool with that. So is there a doubt right now that if you had to run your 40, you would be able to freaking break every bone in your body, tear whatever muscle you have to make sure you're freaking saving that thing or running at full speed? That's my question to you. That's it. That's the only question I have, is if there's a doubt in your mind at this point, you probably need to come back another day when you're ready for that. Because if you're not ready for that, the next half of this training program will not be for you.